What's up guys? I'm that guy Osiris and today I want to discuss lab diamonds. We are going to talk about pros, cons, and some very important differences that people don't talk about too much in lab diamond quality. Lab diamonds are not made equal. So it's important you understand some distinctions. By the end of this video, you'll be better prepared to make an educated choice. And if you don't know, I'm a GI certified diamond expert that was in the diamond trade for many years. Now I help guide people on how they could buy diamonds online. I have a website below where I have tips and tricks on how you could save money. Let's start with an obvious pro, which immediately leads to a not so obvious factor, the price. Yes, there is a massive discount by going lab, massive. In fact, once you see the numbers, it's hard to stop looking. I mean, I literally just start fantasizing about what I could spend all that money I saved on. For example, let's look at some pricing here. Look at this two carat diamond. It's 22,500, my God. Now look at the lab version, $4,100. They're gonna say that lab diamonds are not real diamonds. They are both made of carbon, correct? And they are both chemically and optically the same. And if you test a lab diamond with a diamond tester, it will read positive for diamond. No, lab diamonds will keep getting cheaper. Don't buy them. Now, wait a minute. I don't necessarily agree with that statement. Let me explain. As technology advances, it might be easier and cheaper to make, but those machines are more and more expensive to buy. These people have to stay profitable, okay? When things can be made cheaper, usually that means the corporation could profit a little bit more because they are investing. So I think lab diamonds are priced exactly where they need to be. And because they're Current price really gives us a lot of value. How much cheaper do you want it to be? It's not a cubic zirconia. This is a real diamond, it's carbon. It takes money to create this. So the value is there, which leads me to the not so obvious reason, value, okay? They say natural diamonds hold more value. Well, yeah, historically, yes, they have, but retail value and selling price have a massive gap in between. What truly is the value of a diamond? Most will say a diamond values are manipulated by companies like De Beers. Keep prices high by controlling supply and demand. <laughs> Thank you, De Beers. <laughs> Which leads me to a lovely comment from a viewer on a recent video that reads like this. This video is complete A bullshit. The value of a diamond is determined by cut, color, clarity, and weight. Lots of people like bigger diamonds, but this is the least important thing when purchasing a diamond. When you resell your diamond, in case of emergency, large diamond of low color clarity doesn't hold its value and you will lose 20 to 50% of its original value. He had a few things wrong, some wrong statements there. I will say most important aspect is cut. This was a comment based on a video I made about color where I said it's okay to buy a little bit lower the color grade. He's saying it's going to affect value. So he said several things I disagree with. I will say the most important aspect is make and cut of a diamond. That's what's going to give you the best value. I will discuss later in the video how to find the best cut. But the biggest flaw in his argument is that diamonds are not a monetary investment. Okay, they're an emotional investment. We buy these things. We do it for the people we love, right? To make them happy. So one thinks if you have a perfect flawless D color diamond, it holds value. Well, they're dead wrong. Unless you have a 40 to 200 carat museum quality diamond rough found on the side of a mountain in the shape of Jesus Christ worthy of an exhibit, your diamond is going to lose a lot of money. Anywhere easily from 40 to 50 percent, you're going to lose value in your natural diamond. And if you buy your diamond incorrectly, Ooh, it's gonna hurt, it's gonna hurt. I'm talking about big 80% loss, okay? All right, so talking about buying correctly here, here's a diamond I found on Jared's. It is a F color VS1 Clarity for $9,080. And on the other hand is one of my favorite vendors where I found a diamond for $7,000. So boom, right away, instant savings. Now, if you have an average resale value of 60%, resale value is now 4,200. If you buy the diamond correctly, it's a loss of $2,800. For the improperly purchased diamond, it's a loss of $4,800. Ouch. If you want to learn more about diamond resale, please look at this video I'm placing above. Nice video I made so you can learn more about diamond resale. Now, 
If this video was useful and you love it, please consider not subscribing. And don't smash that like button, please. Who likes all that type of support? Don't do it. On the next topic of lab diamonds, they are not made the same. There are two different ways to creating lab diamonds and one method I prefer over the other. HPHT, high pressure and high temperature is my favorite method. These diamonds are as grown diamonds, meaning there's no need to use a post growth treatment to enhance the color or clarity of the diamond. It mimics nature's way. It is how you found it. This is how it grew. It is what it is. The color, the flaws, it's there, just like nature. This is the best way, most expensive way to grow. CVD, chemical vapor deposition, is the other method. The lab grows a large number of lower quality diamonds with lower color and clarity. Usually they have a gray or brown color to them. And then the lab uses a post growth treatment to enhance the color and clarity. This is the cheaper way to make lab diamonds. Now, CVD should be priced less than HPHT. Keep that in mind. If you look in the description box below, I will have a link to my favorite HPHT diamond seller. And I also created a nice little treat for you, pre-filtered settings. Give me value, show me sparkle, and only the best. These tabs will ensure you have ideal percentages for optimized cuts. That way you get only the top makes to select from. Cut is the most important factor when buying a diamond, so please consider using this resource. Now, I'm not trying to make a case for lab diamonds against natural, to each their own. I'm not going to mention the ethics of diamond mining, extreme poverty of the workers, environmental issues with digging mines. Let's just say they both have their place in the wedding industry. And it's up to you to decide which route you want to go. Hope you found this video useful and catch you on the next one, amigos. Like a normal, you be the judge like rival.